Last time on the Dave and the Carl Show. Hollywood being the editor, editing, you know, all of the work that that we do, you know, you gotta be able to master that, man. So when he pull out those tricks and stuff like, like that, that you, know, you gotta really, you know, I mean? like, okay, you know, stuff in the game up, taking it, taking it to to the highest level that we can go, and then just putting clips together in a timeline. Yeah. David is always in the office. He's always. Going out, getting to the people, getting to the content, finding new ways to promote. Ladies and gentlemen, show, man. Ready, top man, man. management is in the house here, ladies and gentlemen. You know, we was made for this, you know. Yeah. We're promoting our, uh, our new short film that we got coming out. You know, it's, like it's, it's looking real crazy right now in production. <laughs> Better get brand new kicks on Beats banging like a glass Shorty wanna shake that ass The ones that never paid attention when I was in their class Now they have no choice, I'm their kid role model Have all them screaming My class me the battle It's my time We have Casanova Carl One of the people that owe Domino money Um, Domino Money He tells him, alright, your time is up That, you know, there's no more and the guy, he panicked, he panicked so quick, he just starts running out the building. Like, he just knows he has to leave. And he's running, he's running, he's running. He's running everywhere trying to get out of this what building. What the hell is he running from? Because he knows, they're coming, he knows that they're coming after him. He knows, he knows how much he owes owe Domino. And, he, and they just, and the casting over just told him his time is up. So he's running, and he's running, trying to get out of the building. that's exposed with him in it and then it goes into the opening credits of her fellas. It's the film is in development. We are getting everything together. Me and David have been talking about the movie for a long, long time. We've been going over this script for almost a full year now. One of my professors always told me to bring real stories to the screen because 97% of the time people are gonna cling to your stories because they're real situations. People gravitate to real life situations. I'm with the uh, majority of the world is gonna feel that. And we, and we wanna embrace that. Pretty good. Alright, let's see what's going on, man. Let's I'm go. going in on the set, man. I'm going on the set, man. Take me in on the set, man. <laughs> Take me in on the set, man. <laughs> Take me in on the set, man. Yeah. Real deep, man. Yeah. Real deep. Are we taking it from the top? Snitch. Boys. Not only is he a snitch, not only that, he 5 vote. <gasps> but I guess you don't know. Cause it's 187 on the undercover cop. So cousin, you bugging, son. Oh man. You bugging. So I didn't know he could do that. God damn! Hey, where you get pebbles from, son? Yo, ain't gonna find it. Yo, son. He be back way back. Whoa, whoa, what are you guys watching? Yo, 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 chill, son. Whoa, what are yo, you guys chill. watching? Son, chill, chill. That's what not do you mean, porn. chill? Not yo, son, son, son. We watching this porn right here, son. It's it not I, a porn. This is the home video. Yo, what are you doing? You were a superstar. What are you doing? I just want to know, son. Man. Are you going to be working for you, Hefner, like yo, next month? Play boy. David and I always are talking about how we can improve the business, how we can improve ourselves as filmmakers, entertainers, and videographers. Look at those beauties. It's beautiful. And they're getting higher and higher every week. Soon it's gonna be a million views per video, per day. Per Easy. day. I'm gonna make a lot of different changes equipment wise. You know, we work with a lot more advanced equipment out there than we used to. So, you know, our, our better cameras and better editing equipment and things of that nature. We've been making films for so long, it's all we know, and we're giving everybody what we got because. If we don't give that, then the lines will not come at all. I think that, you know, we gotta go into production right now and, you know, the long edited nights and stuff like that, but this is what, this is what gotta happen, then you always gotta have a fleet of material that's just there, ready, at any time. David actually mentioned to me the other day, David told me, he was like, I don't know if you noticed, but either because you've been doing it for so long, you probably, it's probably you're just so used to it that it's just a normal thing for you. But if you actually pay attention, things are not the same as they used to. Quality is a lot better. Quality is a lot better. It's a lot better. 
smoothie material, it's smoothie quality, it's not bootleg quality. And that's the difference. That's the major difference. The clarity. A lot of people don't think a lot go into it. You just put, pick up a camera and you just edit certain things. But uh, with the line of work we're in, you had to put a lot of time and devotion in it because what you do at the end of the day, you get it's not just for your eyes to see, it's for millions of people to see. And if they don't like what they see, that's because of you. Next time on the David and Carl Show. Hold on, talk to me.